Oh my goodness. All right, everybody. Hot to do. Well, I think today I'll try and force myself to make another video simply because I have no sense of time. So, what I'm going to do is probably a little bit of napping. I'm going to um, maybe make a Make a couple points. I need to make some arrows. Um, I have uh, I have some um, garfish scales that I want to use for points too. I have all of these scales. I bought them off of Amazon. This came to me. So I'm going to take these scales, use them for points. Because what else are you going to do with them? I also have a ton of quahog clamshells that I'm going to drill out for beads. So, my local food market, you can get um, stuffed clams for $4.99 for a dozen. And they come with a dozen shells. So, you get a meal and the shells. Now, I prefer not to bake the shells because they lose their color, uh, which I just learned. But, either way, they will work. I had coffee a second ago. There it is. So I think what we're going to do today is do a little bit of napping, get some points, and then venture out and see if we can't get some uh, material for four shafts. I think I'm going to try and find some viburnum or something else with a pithy core to seat these. Uh, to seat these um, scales in. So, let's see what we can do here. I'll show you all kind of what I'm looking for. Oh, that's cool. Just picking out the ones that kind of the most even. Uh, the larger ones. That's that's cool. Some of these are nice and thick. And some of them are kind of thin. But when it comes right down to it, I mean, I'm only going to be using these once. That's one of the predominant reasons that I think these are going to make great points is because they're nice and sharp and they're good single use points, you know, so. I've also got these long, these long things in here. I wonder if these are um, from the fins. I couldn't tell. But they, I mean, they're kind of uniform. They make, they look like they make good needles. So I'm going to go ahead and keep those. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that one. That's great. Yeah. So yeah, I'm picking these out. I'll sort them by their size um, and by their shape. These ones over here, you can see they're kind of all the same, all the same shape. This one, that's sharp, but it'd make more of a better uh, skinning blade than it would uh, <laughs> uh, arrow point. So that one go over there. Um, yeah, that one will do. Do put that one here. This one, it's got kind of a curve to it in the in the shaft, so I don't think I'll use that one. I apologize if I'm kind of mumbling, but as you can tell, I haven't had my coffee yet this morning, so it's going to be an adventure. Just, just dump some out. Why not? Oh, that's why. So, for those of you who don't know, which is probably most of you, because I don't know if I've told you, um, the reason I'm talking about these as being single use is because arrow points, blow darts, and war clubs, and the things that ooh, Shawnee folks use to to take life. Um, whether they be hunting or warfare or what have you, um, they're only used once traditionally. And so they're discarded after their use. That's why four shafts like these are so useful is because you shoot the animal, you lock one of these you lock these points against its ribs, and when you pull out your shaft, your four shaft is in there and buried with the stuff that you're not gonna use. And then these it's just a really small part of my collection. 
these are our originals from the Ohio Valley. Um, this is actually one that I finished. But it's kind of interesting to know that the culture of, of these changed um, because these have obviously been used and resharpened. This one actually has a little bit of stuff still on it. Maybe an inclusion. But beautiful. Beautiful points. Beautifully made. You can see that it's a little bit worn. But I, I mean... And then you get things like this. Come on, focus. There we go. I mean, just beautiful stuff. No, I ain't going to show you all that one. <laughs> There's a quartz point in there, but I ain't going to show you all that. But that's some of my that's some of my collection, and this is one that I need to finish. Basically, just need to put this put that sweep in the in the shaft and the tail there. That's really about it. It's um cheap material. It was a um, was a um, oh shoot, was like an Indian agate, um, one of those cheap like you know thrift store. Uh, spear points kind of things and I just kind of knock the ears off of it and just put a shaft on it sharpened it up and cleaned it because it was pretty gnarly uh, in shape so I did the best I could with it <sighs> but let's see what we can do with these I'm getting a lot of these things and I gotta figure out kind of what to do with them because they're cool um, I want to do something with them they're not really great fish hooks although it could be turned into a gorge hook you know just cut this thing off Sharpen up both ends and run a channel in the middle. And a gorge hook is uh, an item like this. This is a gorge hook. So it's a traditional fish hook like that. Basically, you just put the bait in, and when the fish bites it, you pull it, and it turns sideways in their in their mouth or in their stomach or wherever, and you pull them out of the water with this. These are reused, if you can get them back. The reason why is because they're not actually doing any of the killing, pulling the fish out of water, and basically exposure is what's killing it. Uh, and so, well, yeah, so stay tuned. I think um, I'm not quite adept with this whole video thing yet, so this doing all of this, collecting these things, and... Um, if you haven't seen my video on collecting cane, because that's what I'm going to be making these arrows out of, um, please feel free to see that, and um, that way you know exactly what I'm doing before I have my shafts and all that kind of business. So I'm just going to go be straight into making the four shafts, probably out of viburnum, something with a nice soft core, so that way I can seat these these um, tangs down inside there, make it a little bit more secure. But check out my other videos, and then we'll just follow up with these ones. Anyway, Hiniguchi.